Hey guys, I know it's been a little while, so I figured I would uh, pop in with something that I don't normally view. I collect knives, and one of the companies on my website, you know, that I get my discounts and stuff from, they uh, posted some Bowie knives. I had to pick them up, so, because, you know, me and my weird collections. So anyways, this is by a company called Felissa. It's two basically bowie knives i don't know if i'd classify them as bowie knives i would classify them as a bowie knife design i have taken a look at them that's about it so there's two knives in here we have a little one and a slightly larger one now <laughs> pictures are deceiving that's for sure because these look like a decent normal size of a bowie knife and yeah, no, they're not. They're little. They're cute. I actually like them. This one is from in the sheath, almost 12 inches. In the sheath, this one's about 9 inches. Now, what I like about these is the sheath itself is actually a uh, fitted. I don't know if you can see. The blade is fitted inside like this plastic piece here. So it doesn't chew up the sheath. So the sheath has more rigidity to it, which is really good. So now we have the big one here. Okay, so I'm going to put that carefully down. And the knife full size from Tang. Uh, not Tang. Freaking the Tang's on the inside. I don't know if this is full Tang or not. They don't say. It's about 10 and a half inches from butt to tip. The little one, which I think is adorable. This one actually I think is legal to carry. It's almost like a pocket knife size. I don't know what the legality of the blade size is because I go by the palm test. If it's bigger than your palm, it's perfectly fine. So I don't know what the legality of this one is for a general use around the house kind of thing and walking streets. Anywho, um, this one's about eight inches from, you know, butt to tip. So this one's cute. It's got a very comfortable handle, fits nicely in your hand. This one, same thing. Is my, and this is larger, and it still feels comfortable in your hand. This one actually has a little bit of a weird blood groove. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. Um, so let me zoom in here. Sorry if you hear some weird sounds. There you go. You can look at the blades. These do come pretty sharp. I have to say, I was kind of impressed. Let's see if I can... This is their thank you card. I mean, does it need a little more of an edge? It's got a little bit of a tear to it, and you can see here. I can put a better edge on it, but out of the box, that's pretty good, actually. So, yep, this is the... If I bring this up here, you can see Felissa knives. They have um, other ones I think I saw on there as well. I didn't fully peruse their catalog, but I might actually take a look at it now because these are kind of cute. And I'm going to make a little mounting bracket for my wall. And we're going to have these as display for now. Because obviously I don't travel that much anymore. So actually using these for their intended purpose. Probably not so much. I might use it to split some lo uh, small logs for my wood carving. You know, because I can use this to kind of, well, the little one to whittle. Yeah, that's kind of funny to say. And the bigger one to split the branches down to little pieces so that I can, you know, carve. But, you know. It's something to have on hand. I thought it was cute. I'll zoom back out here so you can see the full thing. And um, yeah, so link will be in the description as always. No affiliate, just me promoting for fun. All right, enjoy guys.